was the whole issues with uh, Deep South Wrestling? It seemed like it was a big disaster. It was. A, it was. I don't think it was in McDonough, Georgia. They tried it. It just didn't work. Jody Hamilton was always cool to me. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if they were trying to run it like an old school carny type thing, and just not be on the up and up with everything. I just remember like. Not shows not being booked or guys complaining. They had all the issues with Bill DeMott. There's no way on earth the way that that's the same guy who's training people and do, there's no way Bill could be around it today. It's so PC and correct. You can't even blink the wrong way. Trust me, I know what goes on in training down there. It's not the same. And so Bill would have never survived it long term. We actually I, I would. Uh, recorded a Bill DeMott seminar a few months ago, and <laughs> it was probably interesting. Uh, it was interesting, yeah. but he was talking about some of the differences that there's a live feed now where back then I think it was the trainers making their own tapes. Uh-huh. And they couldn't do it. Like Bill I I'm not as much of a hard ass of training as Bill was. I couldn't survive as a trainer today. Somebody would give a lackluster effort, they'd be an athlete. Some something would happen that would set me off and I quit. But uh <laughs> no. I wasn't. When they shut Deep South down, I hired, you know, all the guys are down there. I knew they were going to shut it down. Uh, how did that news come to you? Well, it, would, it, it went under, we had been talking about it for a couple weeks. And Johnny Ace had actually come back from Italy <laughs> from a TV. I had flown down. The, I, he had told me the day before, hey, we're going to shut it down tomorrow. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> so I went down the day before. I got this big box truck, this whole deal. I hid it in this parking lot. Johnny flew in, we had lunch, me, him, and Ty Bailey beforehand. We're sitting in this Italian restaurant, like we're sitting there eating the pasta in the Italian restaurant the whole, and I'm sitting there like this is a mafia hit almost. That's what it felt like. The three of us in this restaurant were about to go put the kibosh on Deep South. Dr. Tom knew, he was the only one I told. And, uh, and George Murdoch. I hired George yeah, too, uh, he knew too. Tyrus. Yeah, he knew too, I love George. So we go down there and we call everybody for the big conference. We go into the building. We go into the back first. John goes, pulls around. Joe has Jody in the back, and Bill wasn't there. He had been fired at that point. And Johnny tells Bill, oh, "I'm sorry, Jody. Hey, Jody, this didn't work. Blah blah blah. I'm going out there talking to my talent. We're shutting you down. The whole deal." And Jody's like, "This is bullshit, John." And John, it's the only time I ever saw John get really mad because John put his neck on the line for Jody for this to run, and it didn't work. So it made John look bad. That was his first thing. John wanted to change everything that Jim Ross had down here because he wanted to make it his own vision. He did. He told me, and I agreed with him. Make it his own vision. So, uh, not the JRs didn't work, but he wanted something different. So we went out there, and Jody started yelling. They were talking about lawyers and this and that, and. The only th the, the part I felt the worst about it was Jody Hamilton looks at John and goes, well, you got all that shit out there, John. How are you going to get out of here? And Johnny looks at me and goes, go get the truck, Mike. And I just looked at Jody, and Jody goes, did you know about this? I go, well, I kind of had to. And Jody's like, damn, Mike. And I was like, well, Jody, what are you going to do? And uh, we went back. Johnny went out there and talked to the talent. Now, the talent was over Deep South. They did not want to be there anymore because the second the Johnny Ace said we were shutting it down, they're going to relocate it to Florida. Michael, get with you guys. He'll get you your expense money to move down there. We're going to put some of you guys in OVW. <laughs> we're going to have a whole new system down there in Florida. These guys couldn't have loaded that trick quick enough. They were throwing shit in the back of this truck. I think to this day, Kofi Kingston still has about 20 pay-per-view chairs that he got, that they were throwing out, and he got them all. I want some of those chairs, Kofi. But uh, it was a good night, I mean, for, for a rebirth, but it was a sad night, because my last image that I saw of Jody Hamilton was him in his school with a couple tarps and a couple tubs of supplies and, and just loading in the back of his car. And I felt bad, because Jody was a cool, I like Jody. He's a vet, man. You gotta give him respect. His son, Nick, you know, Nick Patrick, he, he was upset about it too, but it sucked. I just wished I could have worked out differently, but the writing was on the wall way before I got there. Deep South was broken way before I got there. So, the Deep South was the beginnings of a young Kenny Omega too. Kenny was there for about two months, I guess, and then he just said, this is bullshit, I don't wanna do these stupid drills, and he quit. I think he did okay for himself.